Hello, welcome to my first ever YouTube episode of Malia's Aura. I am Malia and I am so glad you are here. I believe that everyone has an aura, everyone and everything. And this is my aura and I wanted to share it with you. Malia's Aura series is gonna just be about everything and anything. I don't have a specific content and I think that's the fun of it all. Today we're gonna be outside and I'm gonna talk to you about what your plants need and how you can tell what they need. Now this is only a few things. I'm gonna have other videos also telling you what you do need for your plant. Everyone has a need in life and everyone deserves to be cared for and loved and so do your plants. So let's go outside and see See what they need. All right, so now that we are outside, I love to multitask when I'm outside. So that means I put on my bathing suit so that I can tan while gardening. Two in one and you get a great tan. Like, what can go wrong? I'm gonna be that old lady that you look at when she gets older and you're gonna be like, why is she wearing that? Like, when do you stop wearing crop tops? When you become a mother? No. When you become a grandmother? No. Like, I just, I'm never gonna stop wearing crop tops. So today, one of the things I'm gonna show you is how to take off your dead flowers so that they can bloom more, last longer, and grow better. But before we get to picking and cutting, the only items that you're going to need right now are a pot to put your discarded little flowers in and then the second is chompers a little chop chop here a little chop chop there some of them need to be chopped and i'm going to show you how you can tell with that too so let's get started with plants that have like a something dying on them like that little petal right here like these little dead ones right here how you want to take those off is because water is still going to them and that's not helping the growth of your plant so you want to take all the ones that are dead so that the water can go to the ones that are growing and to the plants that are growing so that it becomes bigger and healthier here are a couple more examples of me picking out the dead flowers they are dead is if they look welted like that and they're they have that this sound this papery sound the ones that are dead they they're gonna come out really easily because they've been waiting for you to take them out by doing this process your flowers are going to flourish your plants are gonna get bigger just so beautiful here's an example of what your plants will look like when you keep them up. After you wait a couple of days of picking out the old flowers, you're gonna start to see new growth, like so. Bebe, no barking. Thank you. Bear. Bear, no barking, please. You know better. It's okay. I let him bark sometimes because we're always here in life telling our dogs, like, don't bark, don't bark. But they are listening to us talk all day long. So sometimes I let him bark for a little bit, but. Not all the time, not all day long. But yeah, yeah sometimes you just gotta give them that. Like, I ain't playing with you, child. Look. I love you. Who else's dogs are their everything? The way we can know when to chop chop. Oh, it's brown, it's crunchy. Here's a little ASMR for you. Oh, look, I didn't even have to cut that. It just came off. So what I'm going to do 
is I'm just gonna cut right here because all this is dead up here and this this um, stem will keep on growing after I cut it. That's the beauty of plants. So it already looks more healthier. There's no dead nothing. Now it can keep growing and the water can get to the ones that do need the water the most. Like how us humans have to get little trims to cut off our dead ends to keep on growing. That's what plants need. Sometimes they need little trims to keep on growing because our hair's not gonna die if we trim it. It's gonna get longer and healthier. So that's just what you're gonna do when you take off all the stems and all the dead branches and all the dead, the dead everything. You're probably gonna say, this girl is crazy, but studies show that when you talk to your plants, you spend time with them, it makes them grow better. It, it gives them positivity. Plants feed off of positivity. So by talking to them and spending time with them, they feel loved, they, they feel needed in the world. Just like us humans, plants are just like how we are. Everyone needs positivity in life. So by doing all of this, you are promoting growth, promoting strength, promoting love, promoting care. Plants need love just as much as humans do. It's kind of like when you give that person the love that they deserve, the love that they want, they're gonna strive even better in life. You know that quote that the Beatles said is, all you need is love and really, all you need is love to grow your best. You're spreading love out into the universe. You're spreading love to yourself. You're giving, by giving love, you are giving love back to yourself. So before I used to just take my dead flowers and discard them in the trash, but I don't know why I didn't think of this. Thank God for Senorita Plantas, she is a awesome person who loves plants just as much as I do. And she told me, oh, instead of throwing them away, just put them in your compost bin. Duh, why didn't I think of that? Just throwing your dead flowers away? It doesn't really do much, you're just throwing them away. But by composting, which I'll talk about in another video, by composting your flowers, you're doing its like whole circle of life again. Your dead flowers are gonna be able to provide to the new flowers in the future. But I'm not a professional botanist. I just love plants, I love flowers, I love all that kind of stuff. So when I hear new things or research new things, it's so exciting to me. And don't be afraid to ask me questions, you guys. I, I have an answer. If I don't have an answer, I will look it up for you and I will figure it out. I started this on my Instagram, so you can follow me at Malia Cheryl. I know, I know this isn't for everyone, but I know that if I get to e even just one or two of you, um, that'll make my whole life. So let's put it in the compost bin so that it could be recycled. This is my compost bin. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just dump out the ones that I did today and put it back into the earth. Wow, how amazing is that? Now I'm going to talk about why we need to trim the branches that have no reason to be there. For the cutting of branches and why you don't need the dead branches is the same thing on why we don't need dead flowers on our plants or dead stems on our plants. The water can't, the water is still getting up to those branches that don't need it. Why waste water? when we could just grow our plant even bigger. So I had a tree that was pretty much about to die. Um, we've had this tree for about 20 years now. And I decided to bring it back to life. You know, I, I didn't want to give up on it yet. I will show you the before picture right after this. 
and then right now I will show you the after picture the after of how it has grown here's the before After I cut this tree, I watered the heck out of it because it's a 20 year old tree. It has really deep roots. When you cut off a branch and you cut off a lot of um, a tree, you're gonna wanna water the heck out of it for a while. So I would do that once a day or once every other day for like five to 10 minutes. Let me show you how it looks now. Here's the after. Dun, dun, dun. Look at that. Look at that, you guys. Every time I look at this every single day, look at her leaves. Look at how strong they are. Look how green they are. These are the ideal leaves on how you want your leaves to look on every plant. Kind of like 30, for 30 flirty and thriving, but she's 20 flirty and thriving. So I cut her down last July and She's been bloom like this for about four to six months. This right here shows you to not give up on your plants, to give them a second chance. Put the time in your plants. If you give them the love, they will give you the love back. Look at her, oh my God, I just, I'm just so proud of her. Just like how life, like don't give up on something if you really want something to happen and you work hard enough for it, great things will come. Even if, you know, even if she wasn't supposed to live, like at least I tried. From me trying, look at what I got. You just never know. Yeah, it's just so beautiful. My mom just made freshly baked cookies. It's like a rule that every time someone makes or you make freshly baked cookies, like it's literally a rule that you have to eat them right when they come out. It's like disrespecting the cookie if you don't eat it freshly baked. Here's my food for thought. Every um, episode, I am going to pick a random page in my book, uh, the Demi Lovato book. I, I don't know exactly what it's called because I took that cover off, but I will link it down below. I love this book. I'm going to just randomly pick a page and that's how we're gonna leave off with every episode. So let's see. Okay, this is the page. We cannot start over, but we can start now and make a new ending. Allow all of your hopes, dreams, and visions for your life to fill up your heart, energize and inform every word you speak and give new meaning to every step you take. And the goal is to be fearless, ambitious, brave, and courageous in your personal and professional life. Can't say it any better. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon.